Ice Cube says he's not part of the elite Hollywood club that so many others apparently are, and he's airing some grievances about challenges he says he faces because of it. The rapper posted a video Sunday where he's talking directly to the camera and goes on a long rant about being on the outs with the elite and gatekeepers in showbiz and sports. At least that's what it sounds like he's referring to. Just what the video. Yo, what's cracking? You know what it is. It's your homeboy Ice Cube. Um, and some of you may not have realized um, that I'm not part of the club. And a lot of you listening to me right here, right now, you're not part of the club either. And what I realized with the club is what makes them so mad is when you don't want to be a part of their fucking club. That pisses them off. What club am I talking about? I'm talking about the club of gatekeepers that we all got to deal with. You know who they are. And they definitely know who they are. Um, a lot of people would be like, what, who, who, who? Come on, man, stop playing. So, ever since, ever since I put out the contract with Black America, you know they've been fucking with me. Here and there, this and that. But it's cool, you know. <laughs> I expect that. Um... You know, I've been working with, you know, on the big three for a long time. And you know how they've been fucking with me with that. I done made it, you know, plain, simple, and clear what they've been doing. You know, the NBA been fucking with us. Now, a lot of people might say, like, well, but Cube, you want to work with the NBA. Really, I don't give a fuck about working with the NBA. What I want them to do when I say work with us, is to stop working against us. Stop doing that bullshit behind the scenes that we know you're doing. Um, mainstream media, you know, they ain't fucking with us. And that's cool. We can do it ourselves. You know what I'm saying? We still on the rise without these motherfuckers. So if we don't need them, you don't need them. You know? So what am I going to do? To deal with these motherfucking gatekeepers. Well, what I'm going to do is go on a Fuck the Gatekeepers podcast tour. And I'm going to go talk to everybody. Everybody. You know. And get a chance to get my message out to the people. Um, be able to let people hear from me, you know. And, and, you know, you might agree, you might not, but the, the important thing is, you know, for me to go on these platforms, say what I feel about what I think. And, you know, some people may get pissed off because I'm going to talk to everybody. I'm not playing. And, um, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a crazy summer. It's gonna be fun. Appreciate y'all. Always support the big three. Hopefully I'm doing stuff that you guys dig. You know, I'm not doing this for me. I'm doing this for people that's bored as fuck in the summer with summer sports and want something cool like the big three. So here we are. Appreciate you. Much love, much respect from your homeboy Ice Cube. Remember that. Ice Cube directly says he's not part of the crowd, nor does he want to be, and goes on to say that that fact actually makes folks on the inside angry because he's resisting a mainstream thing for someone in his position. It also seems Ice Cube might be talking politics here too because he references his contract with Black America, something he put forth ahead of the 2020 presidential elections, in which he said he felt Donald Trump actually appeared to take more seriously than Joe Biden. He mentions his Big Three League and says he's grown despite getting the cold shoulder from powerful institutions like the NBA, for example. Ice Cube says he's planning to do a massive podcast tour in the near future where he talks to everybody 
and he makes it seem like it's going to ruffle some feathers as well. Can't wait to hear what he got to say, especially about the NBA. We already know the guy is an independent free thinker, but now he's digging his heels in and almost carving himself out as an outsider in showbiz, which is pretty interesting. But let me know what you think in the comments down below.